President-elect Yoon Song yeol has continued policy moves focused on the economy amid continuation of conflict between his camp and the current presidential office. Some measures proposed by his team include expanding the fuel tax cut to 30% and easing lending rules for those seeking to buy their first homes. As the Transition Committee began holding policy briefings aimed at setting agendas for the next administration, the president-elect chose economy as the first order of business. He said the economy must grow dramatically in order to resolve the issue of social polarization and the inheritance of wealth. 산업 구조가 고도화돼야 되고 그리고 첨단 과학 기술 확보가 뒷받침돼야 합니다. Yoon has also called for easing of lending rules by adjusting the loan to value or LTV ratio for first-time home buyers. In a meeting with young business people working in the trade sector, Yoon urged efforts on digitalization and fostering talent. 일자리를 만들어내는 기업과 경제 성장의 정부 Meanwhile, the president-elect's transition team has also put out policy measures closely related to people's daily life. The team made an open request to the current government to expand the fuel tax cut from the existing 20 to 30 percent. The team said the decision will be solely made by the incoming administration and a budget bill will be submitted after it takes office. 현 정부의 의사 결정에 책임지는 분하고 뭐 상의를 받고 그분이 협조를 하면은 되고 안 되고 이런 문제가 아니다 하는 거. The selection of prime minister is also picking up speed. Possible candidates are likely down to two individuals: former prime minister Han Dok-su and former chair of the Financial Services Commission Im Jong-yong. 여러분들 놓고 또 검증도 하고 여러 가지 또 얘기를 나누고 있기 때문에 one of Yoon's aides said the process of vetting and interviewing the candidates is in the final stages and all that is left is a decision by Yoon himself.